Hello and welcome to my nail corner, or welcome back if you've been here before. Today I have a first impressions slash review for you guys of this starter kit that's available on Amazon. The brand name is spelled G-E-R-S-H-I-O-N. I, I want to say Gershon? I, I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but that is not an issue. This kit comes with all those liquids, so five steps, which includes a base, um, like bond, like a prep, your um, base activator, finish gel, and then a brush saver. It came with four one ounce, they're like 1.2 ounce powders or something, uh, instructions and cuticle oil which is in this little guy here um honestly at first i didn't know all this was under the um little packaging with the the liquids and the powders so when i looked at the link for the amazon um purchase i was like where's all this other stuff so i picked up that little plastic insert and all of these goodies were hidden underneath which is so fun so the cuticle oil um it smells like kind of floral scented. It was just very light and not overwhelming or overpowering. So that was really nice. I mean, the fact that it comes with cuticle oil is awesome because I think that's an essential part of your mani. It comes with an orange wood stick, which I used. It comes with a little business card. It comes with nail forms, which was interesting for a dip powder kit, but they also sell poly gel. So whatevs. Um, it comes with a nail file and a cute little duster brush. So I think it's an awesome little kit just based on its contents, um, the volume of things you get, because right now it's $15.99, you guys. I will put the link in my description box below, but $15.99, like one one ounce powder is often more than that. So crazy. So I picked one of the colors, but I'm going to show you all four that came in the kit. They're really nice colors. In fact, those two on the left I thought would be really pretty together. But uh, as you know from my last upload, I was really digging reds. So I went with a red and I just wanted to do a basic mani when I'm doing like a first impressions or a review of a product. I really just want to keep with my standard MO so that I'm not like mixing things up too much. So I popped the three liquids I'm going to use. I'm not using the um, prep liquid because I have builder gel on my nails already and then I went ahead and put my peel base on as per usual. And there's the pretty red powder that I picked and I was like I'm going to use their liquids. I swatched with their liquids and I was impressed then so i was like i'm gonna use them on my nails and show you guys now the one thing i will i left in here i screwed up and these liquids are um well they're full because they're brand new and i have teeny tiny short nails and that was an adjustment for me because i usually have a lot more length so i put way too much liquid on my nail for this first dip and you're gonna see that it like it was overflowing my cuticle so I left this in there so you can see how you can repair this sort of thing. I took that orange wood stick, I went around the cuticle line and just worked away the extra powder. So I really had very little issue. It didn't add any complications. I still didn't have much filing and buffing to do, um, but I definitely adjusted for my next nail and used the appropriate amount of liquid for itty bitty baby nails so um, if that happens to you don't freak out don't get overwhelmed I dipped it in again to just let the liquid excess liquid absorb more powder and it was fine I still even did a second dip of color and then a dip of clear on that nail and it was all good so I know um, we've all had these moments where you do something and then you're like oh no I just ruined it and I have to take it all off you don't just there's always ways to fix things that go wrong in a mani so be patient with yourself and just work with the product they're very workable products these dip powders anyway the liquids are so good you guys they they reminded me a lot of triple D in their consistency they're very um, thin it's really strange how different liquids can be. So these in consistency reminded me a lot of the Triple D liquids. They're not quite like Virgo and Gem is 
I don't know, a, a really smooth base. I don't, if you guys have used both, you probably know what I'm talking about. And that is even thinner in its application. Um, anyway, here I am going down a rabbit hole of comparing all of the base liquids. I get so many questions about liquids, you guys, that I kind of have a, a standard answer, but really working with them and finding what your preference is and what you're going to reach for most is the best way to do it. So if you have some and you're like, oh, I think I might want to try something else, just just try something else and see if you like it better. You'll you'll find what works best for you. But these I highly recommend. They were fantastic. And you'll see at the end I use their dip top coat. I was like, I'm I'm all in. I'm gonna try the whole shebang and it was fantastic. So um I want to tell you a little bit more about my interaction with them though. I was I was approached, I don't know, a month and a half ago, uh, just in a DM on Instagram and they said, can we send you our poly gel kit? And I said, you know, I've never used poly gel. I'm a dip powder girl and I, I'm not sure I'm ready to brave the world of poly gel. And they were like, oh, no problem. Thanks for the response. And I was like, great. A couple days later, I got a message and they said, would you be willing to try our dip kit? And I was like, I have so many like holiday manis planned. I had some other brands that I was trying to to um, wear during the holidays in particular because I loved the colors they were coming out with. And so I really was like, I just, I'm too busy right now. I'm so sorry. And they were like, no problem. Not, not a big deal. And then like a week later, they reached out again and I said, hey, you know, we're not in a rush. Like if you just want to fit it in when you can. So after the third um, contact by them, I was like, okay, like what can it hurt? Send me the kit. But I had recently done the Model 1's review, which by the way, I'll have another one coming up. They're sending me more products to try. Um, and then I had done, what was the other one? There was another um, Amazon dip kit. So I was like, I've done a couple of these. The liquids that came with the kits were kind of crummy. And I just was like, I don't really want to do that again. But they sent this and I am so glad that I finally gave in and said yes and that they were persistent in pursuing me because these are so good and I'm so excited to share um, this review with you guys because it's awesome. If you have somebody that's been like watching you dip your nails and they really want to like try it out, this is the kit I would recommend. I mean, so, so cheap for them to try it and find out if they like the process, if they're into it, whatever. I mean, $15.99 nowadays, that's two bottles of regular nail polish at the drugstore. So I can't rave enough about this kit. I'm going to let you guys um, watch while I finish my application here and I'll come back with some more thoughts along the way. So hang in there and I'm curious if you guys have heard of this brand, tried this brand, if you're going to try this brand, even if you just need liquids, I would recommend grabbing this kit because they're worth a shot. So I'll be back.
I'm doing my clear cap here with my double dip clear. That is the one thing that didn't come um, with this kit that I do recommend always doing, and that is a clear cap on all your manis. If you're new here, then you haven't heard my spiel, and if you've been here before, I'm sorry, but here it goes again. I clear cap all of my manis to protect the pigment from filing and buffing, to protect glitters from filing and buffing because clear acrylic is stronger than pigmented or glitter mixed acrylic. So it just adds strength to your mani. And then also it keeps your activator by from being contaminated with glitter or pigment because if you clear cap all of your nails, then when you activate your nails, your activator is only ever coming in contact with clear dip powder. So it keeps that activator pure and clear. So if I did a white mani next, it's not going to have like a red tint to it because I've contaminated my activator. So those are some of the reasons that I always clear cap a mani and highly recommend it to everyone. It also makes you use not makes you it allows you to use less of your colored powders so really you're you're saving your colored powders because you're doing one less dip so as long as your pigment is really strong in the powders you're using two dips is clearly very adequate so i am activating and then i'm going to file and buff off camera um but yeah double dip clear is my current fave that two ounce jar i have was 14.99 and kate 25 saves you 25 percent off of that price on the website so it's a steal i have one jar that i use for my solid colors and one that i use for glitters to try to keep glitters out of my solid manis. So um, yeah, I went ahead and filed and buffed and if you're new to dip powder, this is the process that you have to do. After you file and buff, you wanna activate your nails again. Activator is what cures your top coat. So you know if you use a gel top coat and you put it in the lamp, that's what cures and hardens it? Well, because dip top coat doesn't require a lamp to cure, what it does require is activator and that's what hardens your top coat. So after you file and buff, you're gonna activate your nails like that and then I use a lint-free wipe to wipe off any excess activator residue it's a fine balance you need activator in order to cure your top coat but you don't want activator getting into your top coat because it will contaminate it because your, your activator getting into your top coat jar is basically gonna cure your top coat in the jar and it'll get gunky and you don't want that so I decided to go and read the instructions after, which was foolish. It says apply activator, file and buff, and then do your top coat. It doesn't say in the instructions to activate a second time, but I've been dipping for four years and that's always the process. So I had gone ahead and done it and was like, I'm going with my usual. And if something goes wrong, then maybe that's the mess up, but I was pretty confident it would be fine. So dip top coat is applied like this. You wanna do two to three quick swipes over the nail, wipe your brush off on your paper towel or lint-free wipe or whatever before it goes back in the jar because it has just touched activator on your nail. So just a quick swipe on a paper towel really helps keep your top coat from being um, contaminated by activator. And then after I go through five fingers, I go right back through with my second coat. And this coat, you can just be more thorough. So it doesn't have to be two to three quick swipes Wipes. You can take your time, really make sure you get all the way to your sidewalls and your free edge. If you really want your mani to be like lasting two weeks, make sure you cap your free edge. I'm not doing it here, it's really a bad example I'm setting, but you want to go along that free edge of your nail, it really seals everything in so that you don't um, hopefully experience lifting. But I am so, so impressed by this top coat, you guys. It's super glossy, it applied really smoothly. I just can't speak highly enough about this super cheap, like super cheap kit from Amazon. So I, like I said, have a link in the description box below for the kit. They have a couple different ones with different colors. So if these col colors weren't your jam, check it out and see what other colors they offer. Um, and then I have a screenshot at the end of this video just showing the kit and the price on Amazon as I was recording this. I'm recording this voiceover on Monday. I believe this is uploading on Wednesday is my plan. 
so it should be the same. I've reached out and asked them how long that price is good for and if I get a response before this uploads on Wednesday, I'll put that in the description box below as well. But hey, great last minute like stocking stuffer or whatever or gift to yourself if you need new liquids, check them out. So I went ahead and used their cuticle oil. It performed nicely. So that's just a nice bonus in the kit. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll check out this uh, starter kit on Amazon. So have a great day. Bonus upload coming tomorrow. So check back then and I will see you in my next vid. Bye now.